In this example, we will evaluate a definite integral using the method of u substitution. Looking at the integrand function, let's first write the square root using the rational exponent of 1 half. The square root of 2 natural log x is equivalent to 2 natural log x raised to the power of 1 half. Now from here, because 2 natural log x is raised to the power of 1 half, as well as because the derivative of natural log x is in the form of 1 divided by x, we will let u equal 2 natural log x. So if we let u equal 2 natural log x, we know du is equal to the derivative of 2 natural log x times dx, and the derivative of 2 natural log x is equal to 2 times 1 divided by x, which is 2 divided by x, and then we have times dx. And now looking back at the integral, we can substitute u for 2 natural log x, which gives us u to the power of 1 half in the denominator, and notice we're left with 1 divided by x dx, and we have du equals 2 divided by x dx, Let's multiply both sides of the equation by 1 half, so the right side is exactly 1 divided by x dx. So we multiply both sides by 1 half. We have 1 half du equals 1 half times 2 divided by x dx. 2 divided by 2 simplifies to 1, and we now have 1 half du equals 1 divided by x dx which means we can now substitute 1 half to u for 1 divided by x dx. We need to remember the limits of integration from 1 to e squared are x values, not u values. So let's first write the integral in terms of u, and then we'll find the new limits integration with respect to u. So again, 1 divided by x dx is equal to 1 half to u. Let's factor out the 1 half, and then we have du. And now the integrand function is just 1 divided by u to the 1 half. And now let's find the new limits integration with respect to u. When x is equal to 1, u is equal to 2 natural log 1. And natural log 1 is equal to 0. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 is the lower limit of integration with respect to u. Next, when x is equal to e squared, u is equal to 2 times natural log of e squared. Applying the power of logs for natural log e squared, we would have 2 times 2 natural log e. Natural log e is equal to 1. 2 times 2 times 1 is 4. 4 is the upper limit of integration with respect to u. Before we determine the antiderivative, let's write 1 divided by u to the 1 half as u to the power of negative 1 half. So here we have 1 half times the integral from 0 to 4 of u to the power of negative 1 half du. And then we'll find the antiderivative. We have 1 half times u to the power of negative 1 half plus 1, which is 1 half divided by 1 half. Simplifying, dividing by 1 half is equivalent to multiplying by 2. 1 half times 2 is 1. Or to show the work, we have 1 half times 2, or 2 over 1, times u to the power of 1 half. Which, of course, just simplifies to u to the 1 half. And now we determine big F of 4 minus big F of 0, where big F of 4 is 4 to the 1 half, minus big F of 0 is 0 to the 1 half. Well, 4 to the 1 half is equal to the square root of 4, which is 2, and 0 to the 1 half is 0, the value of the def integral is exactly 2. Before we go, let's take a look at the graph of the integrand function over the closed interval from 1 to e squared. If we shade the area bounded by the function in the x-axis over the closed interval from 1 to e squared, notice the area is above the x-axis, which means the area of the shaded region is exactly 2 square units. I hope you found this helpful.